I have to say I was pleasantly surprised by the British Airways business class flight experience from London to Toronto, which is my first long-haul business class flight of BA. For one, I've heard too many negative comments from BA's layout of the business class seats to the overall food and service, but none of the above was an issue in this flight. For two, the food quality was some of the best that I've had, especially since the pandemic, when even the world's best airlines had to cut cost. I was told that BA decided not to make any compromise in the food and beverage department, so I almost made a wrong decision by eating too much food in this business lunch, which to me is, as always, decent but unimpressive. That said, not everything is perfect for this flight because it's be after all right. I was in shock when I realized that the plane was parked quite far away from the boarding gate, and hence we need to take transit to the plane. Many passengers were trying to jump the queue, leading to a slightly chaotic situation. Fortunately, the situation was resolved within a reasonable time, and again, I was pleasantly surprised by the layout, which is not the one facing each other. It also had good privacy, as you can always close the door. It's also quite spacious. Also, each passengers will receive bathroom amenities from the White Company, one of the UK's most famous brands. This is actually quite generous, considering many Asian airlines have stopped distributing on-flight amenities for reasons ranging from cost-cutting to environmental friendliness. All right, and that's the reason why I found this flight experience so good. It's the food. What I liked the most was what exactly I told the crew. It's spot on. It managed to do what's best for a British airline, which is no fancy British cuisine. Every single item on its menu is just very original, and the taste was simply gorgeous for pilots on flight. The reason why I said this was in recent years, I found the overall business class meals among major Asian airlines on a declining trend, despite the fact that they constantly promote it. Also, I really want to praise the crew for their professional food preparation. The fact that they managed to preserve the original texture and juiciness of the food when reheating defied my knowledge that all flight meals, first class included, are all dry and tasteless. And the praise goes on. Can you imagine a six-hour flight with Toronto having a five-hour time difference, which means it's just early dinner time in Canada by the time I arrived? Would also serve early breakfast, and not just a light one. It's one with chocolate mousse, bread and portobello mushroom sandwich. What's more, they're as good as a dinner. Especially the bread, which I have to say is the best that I've tried on flight. Overall, I know you might be skeptical about BA's overall flight experience, and might think this time is just an anomaly. But I would say, now that I've tried BA's short and long-haul business class as well as economy class flights, it was actually not that bad. Plus, I found the hype on the Asian carriers a bit exaggerated over the years, especially since the pandemic, where they have to cut cost. What's more, after flying for so many years, my priorities in choosing carriers have slightly changed. In terms of service reliability, BA was actually quite okay, at least for routes in the Atlantic and Europe. Now that I've resided in Europe, BA most of the times are no-brainer choice for me. Coupled with the fact of this flight experience, this will be first choice over Air Canada next time I fly to Toronto. As for the return flight, I have to fly Air Lingus and take transit at Dublin. And as a result, I will produce a separate vlog recording my flight experience on this Irish Air carrier. I think the service is equally good with economy class, even more spacious than BA flights. So stay tuned. <laughs>